Hi, you can find a demonstration video how to set up the movies etc for the 4k audio player. Uh, it's a 4k for output um, digital signage for a video via the HDMI and we have output for audio with the digital output portal. I will show you the player here you have it it has 12 volt out for um, a device which needs also powered by 12 volt like led light um, we have a jack out we have an len for internet uh, we have the full hd or 4k hdmi out this is a usb portal for usb stick or usb mouse this is an otg bridge to connect to a computer here we have the eight inputs for push buttons here we have um, the IR for the remote control here we have the SD card reader we have here the um, digital output for audio manual uh, volume on, uh, on off button switch and we have an indication LED light and we have the 12 volt in so this device can be used for, let's say, testing uh, a soundbar. We can also do multiple outputs for um, digital output. Then you can uh, test multiple um, soundbars. Okay, I will plug in the power. I will plug in the digital output. And on the screen you see it will uh, give the signal of the video. It first is loading, so it takes some time. And then it will start with the looping video. It's called the looping video is the MU. So if you have a looping video, you have to rename it as MU. It also says now in this video at the bottom, to demonstrate it that it is the MU video. So it will repeat all the time when you don't press anything. So if I press the button, it will play movie zero zero. If I press again, it will press next movie. It's a zero one movie. And if I press again, zero two and so on. So if I click it again, and in the end, if I press it again, it goes back to MU. So also for the push button um, videos, the zero zero, you have to rename your video as zero zero. It's very important. Otherwise, the system doesn't know which video to take for the button. So rename it to uh, into zero zero for the first video. For the second video, it's zero one, and uh, etc. So on. So I will now switch off the, the sound, otherwise we have always the sound in this video. Um, I only use it when it is needed. So, um, well, now it's set up with these kind of demo videos, but of course you want to use your own videos. So then you have to do, you can do th two things. You can just swap the SD card. So inside an external SD card, Take, put it in, put it out, like here. Change your content, take this out, put new content on it, or use a new SD card plugin, and then new content can play. Or you can also just take the internal memory, so you don't use the SD card, but the internal memory. So I will show you how to use the internal memory, and besides that, I also show you the setup menu of this player. So you will need a USB mouse like this and plug it in the portal which is next to the HDMI portal. This one can be used. The other one is only for connecting to an external computer. Okay, now you see my mouse in the, in the screen and if I click right button then you can go into the settings menu 
there's a password. The password standard is one, two, three, four. And you can confirm. So now you are in the player settings. If you want to go out of these player settings and you go, want to go into uh, the Android player itself, you can go or you can click on exit player and also the same password one, two, three, four. You can change these passwords in, in here. If you scroll down, you can change the passwords. Okay. Well, now we are in the player settings, the video player settings. Um, you, you first you see it is the autoplay start. You want to play it directly if you plug in the power, yes, then you have to enable it. So it must be ticked green. The storage, from where want you, do you want to play it? Do you want to play it from internal or from external SD card? So you can choose what you like. And then the play mode, well the play mode for buttons must be this one. And that's it for now. So automatically, after some time, it will drop back automatically to the presentation itself. Um, so if you want to go back into the menu, right click and then one, two, three, four and confirm. So like I said, enable uh, to make it auto start. Which kind of storage do you want to play it from internal or from your SD card, external SD card. The play mode is standard for this model. Um, it is playing uh, with the buttons. You can change it into another setup like uh, rolling every video after each other without the press button. Picture you don't need volume. You can change volume levels and you can, well I said uh, the passwords and you can have also an internal clock for auto power on and off and then you have to be sure you have you to put your clock in the Android settings on the correct timings. I will go to exit this player and then I will exit it and I said one, two, three, four, confirm. So now we're out of the total player for uh, the, to play the content and now you're just in Android and you can find here under, under my apps, you can find the apps loaded on this device. Well, for playing the button mode, etc. So what like I showed you just now is the EM player. The, the, the pink one, the blue one is the player, is the settings menu. Then we have the file browser, it's just like the explorer, so you can find the files. Um, then we have also installed the team viewer uh, that, is, that we can connect to this player and to check uh, from um, remotely to help you if there are some problems. But then you have to connect it to the LEM port with an um, LEM cable for internet. Well, if you want to change your content on the internal memory, it's possible. It's in the AM folder. In here you can find, like the, like I said in, in, in the, the first stage of this video, it's the MU 00, 01, 02, 03. And the XML file is uh, the, um, the file for the internal reader, what he has to do. So the instructions file. Okay, so you can change over there the, you can do it the uh, file. So you, you can change it manually like this, you, like this, you click this one and then you say uh, delete and then you go back to, uh, let, let's say uh, if there is a, a USB stick inserted or an SD card, you can copy it and directly copy it back on this folder. AM. It's also possible to copy, auto copy it uh, from SD card to the internal memory. Then you have your content on the SD card together with a bin file. You plug in the SD card and then it automatically will um, update the content. It deletes the old content and it renews the new content. Then you have to plug out the SD card when it's ready and then it will play also from the internal memory. So there are actually three ways to do it. Okay, let's go back. 
So here we have the player, like I said. You can also go to Android settings and set up the Wi-Fi if needed, but it doesn't have Wi-Fi. You have to switch it on and then check if there are um, networks available, but this device doesn't have uh, Wi-Fi, it only has LEN cable connection. Okay, you go back and then as you're ready, you go back to player and then it will start. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.